Hello and welcome to the very first of our PC build guide series. Well, we'll be specking out different PCs at different tiers, from extremely low end, which is this week, to as high as PCMR. All the parts used will be readily available at Memory Express, so you will be able to walk in and pick up all the builds featured in this video, or use this as a starting build guide and customized components to build your dream PC. So, get ready to build, as these guides and videos have been one of our most requested videos on social media. So, let's get started. So you want to build a computer, but you don't know where to start, and you don't want to spend a ton of coin. A lot of times in store I hear, I need a PC just for Fortnite, it's for my kid. So to the budget builder, mom and pop, ninja fans, and Fortnite fanatics, this video is for you, as we're focusing on a build that, well, we'll run Fortnite and focus around those type of games. Currently, Fortnite is the world's most popular game. Fortnite has roughly about 40 million players log in each month. And this is across various platforms, because it's cross-platform and playable. Get the clue, Sony! It's also free to play, which contributes to its popularity. So this video will show you how you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to play low-spec games. And you too can join in the colorful Battle Royale. So, meet Little Royale, as I'm calling it. This is my new computer son. This PC in front of me has the lowest possible spec for price for your budget build. Still able to handle Fortnite, of course. This isn't just a one-trick pony. The system here can handle other games like World of Warcraft, CSGO, any MOBA, Roblox, of course, and run smoothly. So you never miss a beat playing with your friends. As well, it can handle other games on the higher spectrum of games, such as, you know, The Witcher and stuff, but, be warned, the graphic quality being really low. And experience, well, it's not gonna be good. Cause this little baby here can't do much right now, am I right, buddy? Little guy, don't be shy. So the following build that we're gonna highlight here is geared specifically for someone who has a budget a bit higher than a console. Essentially, this is a starter PC, guys. So it can be upgraded in the future. So when more coins come in, or you decide, hey, I wanna do more with Little Royale here. This is also for someone that just wants to get into some indie titles and essentially, Play the basic Fortnite. Programs like Discord for in-game communication will work flawlessly, as there won't be an issue, because it's just communication. However, do not attempt streaming on the system, because it just won't work. So let's get into the parts. Firstly, we went with the AMD 2200G. Firstly, we went with this, just because the onboard Vega and graphics. We'll get into that a little more later on. Next, we went with the A. 320MK motherboard by ASUS. With a cost saving build, we want the very basic for the board. Really for what we're doing here, we don't really need much more than this, than, well, the A320M. It has all the features we'll need, enough USB slots and RAM slots, so future expansion, no problems. What you can't see right now is we have G-Skill 8 gigs RAM inside, just 8 gigs of RAM guys. You don't need anything more than this because the operating system need for around 4 gigs to run, which leaves required gameplay, 4 gigs for Fortnite. Perfecto! So guys, we went with the EDETA, SU650 120 gig SSD. We went with an SSD versus the traditional hard drive. Reason being for this, well, similar cost range for what we're doing here, so between $50 to $60. An SSD gives you faster boot time, faster load times in game, and with the 120 gigs, it gives you room for your OS, Fortnite, and a few other games, and of course, cat pictures. Next, we have the case that we talked about a little bit earlier, Little Royale. So this is just a straight in win case with a built in PSU 300 watts. It takes advantage of the size and, well, added bonus of the motherboard because it's micro. We're able to complement it with this super nice small case. Because of this, the total build weighs less than a bag of potatoes. It also, like I said, comes with a built-in PSU, saving you space and money. The compact size makes the computer super mobile friendly. So land parties, weekend events, or just you need to move the PC around, the size of the case will help you do that. So, let's see how it performs. Eight. On low settings, we're seeing an average of 58 frames per second at 720p. For those that don't know, FPS means frame per second. With the possibility of drivers updates in the future, we could see up to 60 frames per second. Pretty cool. On medium settings, we are seeing 43 FPS at 720p. With us seeing 43 frames per second on the medium settings, these were also the recommending settings by the system, of course. So the goal of doing the system build was to get a build within 30 frames per second as cheap as possible. And we did it because this is all possible because of the onboard graphics, the Radeon Vega 8 graphics. With this on board, it allows budget builders to really take advantage of the Vega tech and save the cost on extremely low end builds. This allows us to hold off on buying a dedicated GPU and saves us approximately $200 to $250. However, if you did want to improve or add anything additional to this build, you could throw in a GTX 1050, which does not require any additional power to it straight from the motherboard and improves the overall gaming performance. So hope this guide helped you out with your unbelievably inexpensive Fortnite PC and this brings 
Get this, guys. The total cost of this build is under $500. That's right, it's $465. And that's just for the parts to make this little Royale boot. You will need additionally a copy of Windows 10 if you don't already have a copy, bring it up to 605. So still a lot of value within that. If you don't want to build it yourself and well risk losing screws and all that fun stuff, we here at Memory Stars do offer build services. So we have a link in the description below with all the details from our tech zone. Next time on our build guide, we take on the mid-tier gaming PC and we're aiming for around $1,000. Do you think we can do it? Because our goal is to achieve 1080p at 60 frames. So if you like this video, let us know in the comments, perhaps a build of your own you've done and maybe some respect. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me your stories. Don't forget guys, this video is brought to you by MEXP with our prizes month brought by Seagate. We're giving not one, not two, but three two terabyte fire CUDA hard drives to, well, any of you guys. So take advantage of the SSHD technology. And don't forget guys, follow us on our social media. So of course, Facebook and Twitter are the same, just at Memory Express. And our official Memory Express Instagram account is official Memory Express. Figure that. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next week and get ready for the next build video. Bye. <laughs> it's my building hands. There you go, little 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 Royale. Go to sleep. Oh, you're still here. Hi. Just putting my PC child back to bed. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs>